Hi, I'm Luke Schuster, Policy Analyst with the Massachusetts Budget and Policy Center, a nonprofit, nonpartisan research organization. This video briefing is designed to give a quick description of the state's Chapter 70 formula for distributing education aid to local and regional school districts. The formula is designed to ensure that every school district has sufficient resources to provide an adequate education for all of its children. And it has an equalizing effect by distributing greater state aid to less wealthy districts. While understanding the formula may seem daunting, its basic four-step structure is actually quite simple. First, you calculate a district's foundation budget for providing an adequate education for all children. This amount varies district to district. Second, you calculate the required local contribution towards this foundation amount. Third, you fill the gap between steps one and step two with Chapter 70 state education aid. And finally, four, when steps one through three have been done, local districts have the option of providing additional revenue on top of the required minimum contribution. Let's look at each of these four steps now in a little more detail by analyzing the formula for two sample districts, Worcester and Newton. By running the calculations for these two districts, we'll see that the formula works differently depending on the needs and resources of a given community. Step one, calculate the foundation budget. The foundation budget is a calculation of how much it should cost to provide an adequate education for the specific kids in a given school district, and it is often expressed as a per pupil number by dividing the total foundation budget amount by the number of students in the district, as we do in these graphs. The foundation budget is calculated by looking at the specific number of students at every grade level and demographic group, for example, low income students or limited English proficient students, and multiplying those numbers by a set of education cost categories such as professional development, teacher salaries, and building maintenance. In this case, Worcester has a higher per pupil foundation budget than does Newton, mostly because it has more limited English proficient students and low income students. Step two, determine the required local contribution. The state calculates how much an individual community can reasonably contribute towards its foundation budget amount, and it is based primarily on the property wealth and income levels of residents in the community. In fiscal year 11, for example, the calculation was run by adding 0.3% of the total property wealth in a community to 1.4% of the total income levels in that community. In this example, Newton has a higher ability to contribute than does Worcester because it both has higher property wealth and higher income values than does Worcester. Step three, fill the gap with Chapter 70 state education aid. Chapter 70 education aid is determined by filling the gap between the foundation budget amount and the required local contribution. It is done this way to ensure that total funding is at least as high as the foundation budget amount. In this case, Worcester receives more than six times as much Chapter 70 education aid as does Newton for two reasons. First, because its foundation budget is higher than Newton's, and second, because its ability to contribute local revenue is lower. Step four, provide additional local revenue where possible. Technically speaking, the chapter 70 formula is just steps one through three, but we include step four here to emphasize the fact that local communities have the option of contributing additional revenue on top of their required amount, and many wealthy communities do choose to do this. For this reason, it's important to think of the Chapter 70 formula as providing a baseline education across the state, but it does not ensure equitable total funding across the state. It's also important to notice here that both Worcester and Newton's total actual budgets are equal to or greater than their foundation budget except Worcester's is essentially equal to its foundation budget, whereas Newton's is 60% greater. So, just to review, education funding for local districts in Massachusetts is determined through four basic steps. Step one, calculate the foundation budget for providing an adequate education for all children in the district. Step two, 
determine the required local contribution towards this foundation amount. Step three, fill the gap with Chapter 70 state education aid. And step four, provide additional local revenue where possible. It's important to stress that while this outline accurately describes the formula's basic design, it does not account for a host of technical changes that often complicate each of these four steps. Mass Budget monitors these changes closely and we often provide detailed analysis through reports available on our website. One legitimate concern with the system is that the foundation budget hasn't been updated since it was originally created almost two decades ago back in 1994. Each year then the foundation budget grows more out of date and less accurately reflects the current costs of providing an adequate education. Fundamentally reevaluating the foundation budget to reflect changes in education such as the greater use of technology in the classroom and the increased expectation to teach to state standards would ensure that the foundation budget better reflects uh, the current educational costs and it would likely lead to an increase in total state aid to all districts in the Commonwealth. For more information on the Chapter 70 formula's more technical details, as well as for a host of other education finance documents, please go to our website massbudget.org and click on the Education Documents tab. Among the resources available on this page is a recent fact sheet we wrote called Demystifying the Chapter 70 Formula, How the Massachusetts Education Funding System Works. We hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much.